today's pick of the litter, meet the almighty Greek god Zeus. He's a miniature schnauzer who would love to find a safe and loving home. Here to tell us all about him and welcome him to your home is Kathy Chung, president of the Nevada SPCA and No Kill Animal Shelter. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Hello. Zeus. I know he has such a big, strong name, such doesn't he? Such a powerful he? name for such a quiet dog. Oh, he's so quiet and he's so <laughs> little. and. Really, he just needs a quiet, gentle home with somebody that just wants to sit down and watch TV and just hang out in the backyard all day. So he would be great with kids? Great with kids. Mm -hmm. Great for somebody that's retired. Great for somebody that just stays home and wants a buddy to follow him around the house. He mm -hmm. was perfect for that. Um, he's, he's 10 years old, so he's a senior. And we actually have a lot of seniors in the shelter right now. So he's a little dog, so it's not like he's at, he's you know, it's ending soon, but he's got a, a shorter lifespan than if he was a, a puppy. Mm -hmm. Nice thing about older dogs, they're over the chewing, they won't take your socks, they, <laughs> they won't eat the baseboards, they won't eat the sprinkler heads, they just want to hang out. Maybe if you have a younger dog, they can teach your dog a thing or two. That's true, and also if you have a younger dog, it might bring the spunk out in this guy. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, a, like a win-win yeah. with him. So we'll both find an average age in exactly, the middle. Yes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now how do we adopt Zeus? You come down to the sanctuary at 4800 West Dewey Drive. If you have a dog, please bring it down with you and let's do the meet and greet in the lobby and make sure that they get along. What, what was his story? How did you get your hands on Zeus? Um, he came to us from another shelter. Okay. He was um, put on a rescue list because he's so skinny he does need to be put on a proper diet so he can gain a little bit more weight mm -hmm. and because he was a senior dog. Gotcha. And what are your adoption fees? They range anywhere from $75 to $175 depending on the age, the breed, the size. Mm -hmm. and they've all had their shots. And yes, been everybody or there including the rabbits are spayed, neutered, and all microchipped. The, the only thing we don't spay and neuter is like the mice and the guinea pigs. Because you would need a really powerful mi microscope. Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> uh, very small hands. It's important to note with, with that adoption fee, you don't get federal funding, you don't get federal assistance. It's all through adoption fees and donations that allows the NSPCA to exist. Absolutely. We, we rely 110% on the community. Mm -hmm. So to in order to, to spay and neuter and microchip everybody, which is a, a huge expense, you know, we, we reach out to everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you need uh, volunteers at this moment? We could always use volunteers. Kitten season is coming up. We what does that mean, kitten season? <sighs> well, in the warmer weather, we <laughs> tend to get a lot of kittens. When and a boy a lot cat, of, yeah, I know. And a girl cat <laughs> can you break it down for us? We have the time. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we get a lot of um, kittens, motherless kittens in, and we uh -huh. also get motherless um, puppies in as well. Oh, wow. And we would like them to be raised in an environment at home, you know, that's a little bit quiet versus the shelter where there's a lot of barking dogs mm -hmm. around. So if you can take them in and have the time, give us a call, contact us, and it would be, it's great because not only that, we allow our fosters to help us do the adoption. Mm -hmm. And uh, not just with uh, monetary donations and volunteering, but the actual donations of supplies are very important as well. Yes, it's very important. Um, we can always use blankets. We use bleach. We use Simple Green. We could use wet cat food and wet dog food. So truly, there's always a need to give if, you, if you've got something. So we have Zeus up for adoption, but we have plenty of other animals at the shelter as well. Yes, there's over 800 animals at the shelter right now, and we actually have a baby pygmy goat that just came Aww. in. <laughs> he won't be ready for about two or three months because he um, came in with a broken leg. Oh, wow. So we have some great vets that volunteered their time and their services. It's helping him with his legs. So in a few months, he'll be ready, and he is absolutely stunningly adorable. Aww. Last time you were on, we had Willoughby. Willoughby was adopted almost instantly awesome. when I came Wilford back. Awesome. Wilford Brimley. Oh, really? Yes, I actually believe that. The people were waiting in the lobby for me when I came oh. back. That's awesome. I love those stories. What a, what yeah. a great story. Well, thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Thanks, Zeus. Zeus, we're going to find you a home. Could be yours. For more information on how you can bring them home, just head to the website, call the number on your screen, or you can visit the shelter on Dewey Drive. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. Still to come.